hey, here's a quick sound design trick that I use for generating all sorts of like liquidy, synthy content um, using Ableton's vocoder. I've tried other vocoders, they don't work quite as well for this specific task as this one does. Um, and the way it works is uh, it thrives on having like distorted, noisy input. So it gives the vocoder more frequencies to latch onto. So this is what we'll be listening to for this example. That's just the dry signal on its own. And when we add the vocoder to it in pitch tracking mode, it, it sounds like this and it'll be pretty quiet. So I'm just going to slap a limiter on it and turn the gain up. That's already sounding pretty, pretty good and juicy. Uh, the main parameters we'll be messing with here are the depth. The release time. And the formant. I found those have the most profound impact on the overall character of the sound. Um, bands is cool too. But unfortunately you can't macro control the bands. Um, which brings me to my next point, which is this is cool, but I want to take it a step further. Um, so I made a vocoder audio effect rack. Um, that does mid-side vocoding, and the way this works is it has like two chains in parallel, one panned hard left and one panned hard right, and then it just runs through a mid-side decoder. Literally any mid-side decoder will work. I'm just using this Brainworks one. This is the only switch that I'm using right here. Maybe some also like mono making below 90 is fine. Um, I'm just bringing up the gain. You can use literally any limiter or anything that adds gain to do that. Um, but yeah, then I just linked all the controls for both vocoders to this little macro panel right here. And you can hear this just gives it some nice stereo width. Um, and another way that I'll just sort of like enhance this and get a little bit more detail out of it is usually by slapping an OTT right in between the limiter, um, the mid-side decoder and the limiter. I'll usually just turn the amount down a little bit. You can hear that just sort of brings out additional details. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. One little caveat is that using this Ableton vocoder, it can like behave weirdly sometimes and like latch onto a pitch since it's technically using pitch tracking mode. And then once it does that, it just sounds like cheesy Daft Punk sounds and there's no way to like reset that outside of instantiating a new uh, instance of the plugin. So unfortunately it sets you back to square one if you jam it out, but yeah, that's it. Thanks.